name is Trey Farmer. I'm with Forgecraft Architecture and Design. Um, I'm a certified passive house consultant and also the homeowner. It's a 104 year old craftsman house, uh, 1914, that was originally here. Um, we kept a lot of the original design features on the front for the historic context. Basically gutted it and turned it into a passive house. Passive house is essentially the best way that we designers know to make a energy efficient, healthy, and durable home with the best indoor air quality possible. So this home will use about 10% of the energy of a comparable new home. So this house is a pilot project for the new Passive House certification, the FIAS 2018 Plus. There are two other Passive House projects in Texas right now. So it's, even though it's one of the first of this pilot project, it's still one of the first of any Passive Houses in this climate and in this state. With Passive House, the three big things are the insulation, the air tightness, and then the HVAC system. And so those are all sort of above and beyond. Otherwise, it's a normal building. You can do whatever you want. Essentially, it is airtight, super insulated, and then it has this box upstairs that's part of our HVAC system that basically tempers and filters the air that's coming in. So with the HVAC system, we work closely with CleanTag, who's building the house, and with Positive Energy, who designed the mechanical system, and also with New Results, who installed the uh, mechanical system. Trey approached us early on this project to get into, into the project on the design phase. And so that is when we start to work with architects and look at the plans and help make suggestions as to how heating and cooling systems, ventilation systems can come into a project and fit within the architecture. When Trey and Trey's wife Adrian and I all met, um, we went over some schematics that he had worked up. And that was sort of when, when Trey introduced the uh, passive house element to us. And we weren't really familiar with it. I mean, we, I think we'd heard the term before, but it wasn't something that we were you know, necessarily versed in. The lessons we learned with passive houses is taking a little more into account the, the actual structure. The building has to be as part of the system now. The envelope and the insulation and, and the systems are, are very involved. The building envelope itself will do a lot of the heavy lifting, um, but the HVAC system needs to be able to respond. And so the HVAC system can't be done or designed or installed in isolation from its surroundings, from the building itself that it's going into. Without a, a good collaboration between the architect and builder and homeowner, um, a project like this couldn't, couldn't exist. This isn't the type of project where you can buy a set of plans off the internet and build it, right? We had to really work through a lot of things and so we had a lot of really interesting conversations that I got to kind of witness with the Passive House certification people in Chicago because hot passive houses in hot humid climates are new for them too. What the duct systems need to look like, where the air needs to be delivered, and which systems need to be incorporated into the house to have it perform to a level that people expect. When we start that design process and we identify the different zones of the house that need to be conditioned, we really like the Mitsubishi systems for being able to zone a house via refrigerant versus doing an air-based zoning system, which would be much more conventional. We see the benefits in doing refrigerant zoning um, as being significantly more efficient. We looked at the different systems and we, we ended up going with the Mitsubishi VRF because it's quiet, it's energy efficient, it uh, gives us exactly the air we want uh, when we want it and how we want it. Positive Energy likes the high quality engineering that's put into the Mitsubishi components and so they are our go-to product for our designs. Uh, we consider every other system out there as an alternative to Mitsubishi. Right now this house is in the rough end state, which means that we, we're done with all the duct work and then we get tested to make sure that our ducts are sealed. This particular house came up with 1.4% duct leakage, 4% would be passing, so 1.4% we're, we're a third of 
below passing. Yeah, we're excited to see that the, the finish has come in. We've we've done so much for the, the envelope and the insulation and the systems. We're all very excited to close it up and, and start putting on the putting in the fun stuff. This was designed for Trey and his family by Trey and He's getting exactly what he wants, and uh, and we're we're very proud to, to be a part of it. I got to say, um, every time I come over here and spend any time here, a neighbor will stop and say, "I love this house." <laughs>